Learning, growing, and supporting is a theme for St. Croix international students and American students getting to know each other in their daily life. How do they learn together? This is Grace Park, and she's from Korea. She's an excellent leader as an international student. Um, what do you like to about studying in the U.S.? Uh, well, there's more, definitely more freedom compared to like Korea. And in Korea, like students are very competitive with each other because like one test will determine your college. Like unlike American SAT, Korean SAT can be taken only once a year, so they have to study really hard. And in Korea, students attend like academies after school, so when they go back home, it's around like 10 o'clock at night. Because of this, not a lot of students are able to enjoy their free time on their like extracurricular activities and other stuff. So like America allows you to have like more free time and like, like extracurricular activity and like other stuff that you want to do. This is Bong Wen. She's a in she's an excellent student from Saint Croix. She's from Vietnam. Um, she just got her student of the month from March, right? Do you want to talk about the difference between the school in Vietnam and in America? Yeah, so you know like the teacher here like they're very friendly and yeah. I can talk with them as a friend you know, we can share our mm -hmm, story. Mm -hmm. Not like in Vietnam, you know like just instructor and a student, like a big difference. Yeah, same us. in China. Yeah. This is Alexis Seward, she's the vice president of the Global Leadership Perspective team. Hi, Alexis. Hi, Doris. Well, you know, the schedule will be different from the schedule they are used to. So um, how will you help them to understand this confusing schedule? Yeah, the schedule can be confusing. So it will help a lot if you walk with your mentee to their classes throughout the week to help them feel familiar with the halls and the rotating schedule. Yeah, that's what my mentor did last year, I mean, two years ago. Mentors and mentees all came from different cultures and backgrounds, learning from each other. How do they grow together? This is Alisa Ono. She's a senior from Japan. Um, she just got accepted by MIT. Congratulations, Alisa. Thank you. Um, so I have a question. What made you decide to come to study in the U.S.? Um, I came to the United States as an exchange student on my sophomore year because I was interested in different cultures and I wanted to learn American culture and experience how it's like to live and study in the United States. I really enjoyed my experience as an exchange student and I decided to stay here and continue studying. I know you are successful in the area of academics, but how do you accomplish your involvement in extracurricular activities, and how do you balance them out? I think time management is the key. It's tempting to watch TV or take a nap after a busy day and sports practice, but I make sure to do my homework and study first. It's also important to choose the extracurricular activities you enjoy, because if it's fun, it's easier to stick with it even when you're busy. I know you have decided to go to MIT after finishing high school. Do you have any advice for the new international students to go through the life-changing decisions? My advice for choosing college is to choose school that you feel comfortable spending four years. Academic level of colleges can be one of the criteria for choosing your good fit school. But make sure you choose a school that you think you will fit in and enjoy your campus life. So, um, as an international student, there must be some struggles when you come first time come to America, right? Yeah. So, want to talk about that? Sure. So, my first obstacle was language barrier. Mm -hmm. So, at first, I could not understand, you know, understand um, like what they said, what's the lesson about, and my ability to speak English was like not that good at that time. You. But how did you get over with that? Well, you know, our school got a program called Mentor and Mentee. Mm -hmm. And I have my mentor during sophomore year, and she helped me a lot in like speaking English. Because like, she tried to talk to me every time she can. So like, after one year, yeah. and, like, my abilities like, improved a lot. 
Mentors and mentees grow together in every minute of their daily life. They make each other become a better person. How do they support each other? What are some ways as a mentor you can help your mentee get used to life in school in America? Um, well, it can be hard for new international students to get involved. Mm -hmm. So as a mentor, you can let them know about all the opportunities available to them, as well as encourage them to try some of them. Also, you can invite them to do some things that may seem simple to you, such as going to get food or going to go shopping. But it encourages them to learn about American culture. You know, more and more students come to America for getting in college in America. Yeah. So how will you help them with that? Well, it's important to try and encourage your mentee to talk just with you or other people so that they have to practice their English more. And so one good way to do that is when you meet them for the first time, have topics to talk about so that it's not an awkward silence, but at the same time, the more they talk, the more they practice, and then the more they'll feel comfortable around you. When first time coming to a total different country, life is always hard. Getting through these struggles needs support. Living in life in St. Croix needs everyone's communication. Let's make it happen.